you better brace yourself. If I said what I wanted to say, y'all would really want to hate me. I ain't going to disrespect, but we got to be honest here. The, the real conversation is irresponsible f Now you want to be sympathetic? Kendra G, you roll for this. Ain't no way. Oh, she missed her teeth too. The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by Fat Liver Jones in this podcast do not necessarily reflect reality or facts. If you're seeking factual information, we strongly encourage you to do your own research. Much of what is said here is meant to be satirical and humorous. Enjoy the ride, but take everything with a grain of salt. You feel me? You know the vibes. We still potting on business out here. I like Kendra G, but every time she uploads a show and she says, brace yourself, you better brace yourself. Now, this one right here, <laughs> I kind of don't want to do it, but I kind of feel like it is needed because the reality of it is certain people are just out here living up stereotypes, and this is as stereotypical as it gets. And on top of that, a lot of people just don't live within reality. And this is prime example. <laughs> this, <laughs> this shit's crazy, yo. Let's get into it. Oh, I want to see your outfit like now. Me, girl. We're going to do the Kendra Cam first. Stand up. Let me see what you got on, girl. Mm. Oh, what, what in the hell? Holy girl? shit. What the hell am I saying? She dead ass wrong. <laughs> she should know better than this. This is insane. Today is a Monday. Where are you going? Yeah. I'm trying to stand me up. You can't tell her she ain't fine either. <laughs> she believe that shit. Wow. On the Kendra G show. Oh, she is she aggressive? But baby girl, that's a club outfit. Where are you going on a Monday in that outfit? She look like one of them, uh, them balloons. <laughs> you know the balloons I'm talking about. The like latex joint. It's fucked up. Sierra, where you calling me from? Man, at Wisconsin. I was from all the same. Okay, so how old are you, mom? I'm 33. 33. 33. What you do for a living? I um, I currently not doing anything for a living. I'm on Section A. Uh... What? <laughs> what the fuck? You should be looking for a man if you don't have a job. Like that, you should be looking for a job first. And she says she's on Section Eight. <sighs> this is what I mean about like not living in reality. I currently came from being a security. Uh, Allied University, but I had to change over my situation because I think it's a better living out here. It's not really that safe for my kids. And should... <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to laugh, but anytime somebody says I got to change my situation, it means they got into some shit in their old neighborhood, so they had to basically leave. So I had to move and transition out here, <laughs> and I'm by myself with my five kids. <laughs> God damn. So, do you think you're in a position to start dating? Yes. <laughs> yo, Kendra ain't shit, yo. <laughs> yo, I swear to God. <laughs> I am. Oh, and she's so okay. serious, too. Take care. She is I dead to take ass. Care of everything that a man needs, and I, I just want somebody to be there for me on my side. Okay. What? That don't make no damn sense. Did I hear that correctly? Yeah, I try to take care of everything that a man needs, and I, I just want somebody to be there for me on my side. Okay. Okay. So a couple things. So, um, so, so unemployed right now. You're not working. Yes, right now I'm not working. Okay. Look for a fucking job, <laughs> not a man. Kendra G, you raw for this. This is shit I be like accusing Drewski of. It's all in love though. Like get your money. I ain't hating. We all went to school with people that rode on the short bus, and they grown too, <laughs> and they out here on social media, and this is the shit that happens. Like, and so don't get mad at me for exploiting somebody who is willingly coming up here doing that, and the woman that exploiting her looks exactly like her. So y'all go yell at her first before y'all try to say that I'm hating on black women or whatever. You have five kids. How old are your five kids? What's she sipping on? What you drinking? It's, um, <laughs> my oldest is 15. My second oldest is uh, 12. My third oldest is nine. Um, the uh, fourth one is six. The, the f fifth one is six. Three. The last one is three. So Wait, okay, so 15, 12, 9, 6, and 3. Hold on. <laughs> Y'all do that math? <laughs> 15, 12, 9, 6, and 3. That means all them kids are three years apart going backwards. That's crazy. Yep. By how many men? Um, I have four baby daddies. God Like damn. her mama. 
Just oh like shit. Your daughter? That's Mike. Wait, Kendra. Yes, this is my daughter. Oh, that was the lady from the beginning. Oh shit, this is crazy. What the fuck, Kendra? What did you do? Look, look at Kendra's face. <laughs> she know this, this shit is gold. This is my daughter, Mike. That's why. Right, okay. Oh shit, she missed her teeth too. You was there before. How many kids you have? I told you, I got six children. One of them died by gunfire in 2020. Okay. I got to do it. Can you all take it? Wait, wait, hold on. Sorry about your, I don't want to be, I want to be sympathetic. Sorry about your child that passed away. Now you want to be sympathetic. You know what? I ain't going to disrespect, but. Anyway, you and did. you have how many grandchildren? Because you told me this. 30. God <laughs> damn. Grandchildren. So this Holy is one of your, shit. So this is one of your daughters. And Super she grandma. Has, she got five. Yeah. yeah. And your son had what, 12? One of your kids got 12. 15, can't you? Oh, that's right. I, I, one hold up one of these motherfuckers got 15 kids hold up N ain't no way so this is one of your daughters and she's she, part of, she, got, she, five. Five. she got five yeah. okay and your son had what 12 one of your kids got 15 can't you? Oh, that's right I, I, damn so that's 20 sorry, right there one son Holy got 15 shit. kids this is your daughter that got five. all right man so we got to be honest here the, the real conversation is like i got to be careful with what i say because last time youtube took some words i said and like basically blocked the video it was a hot video but i'm gonna be very careful for the sake of the algorithm but if i said what i wanted to say y'all would really want to hate me Point being, this is way too much irresponsibly, like, fucking. One nigga got 15 kids. Who's taking care of all these motherfuckers? You know what? If y'all if y'all out there knowingly knocking up these women, y'all need to be arrested immediately. It's a lot of, like, fucking generational trauma in here. So, like, I'm going to try to be, like, nice. But this is sad. Like, honestly, she don't need to be dating. But I don't need to be telling nobody what to do anyway. This is America. <laughs> We're all allowed to be ourselves. And she's being herself. She's being unique. So, fucking no. Like response to anybody that might say something about four five kids by four men and you're currently not working what would you say to them i don't care what they say kendra i'm not working now oh, 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 she said that shit like it was it was a threat i don't care what they say because i ain't working right now she can't be serious like i can't be the only one that thinks that something's wrong with this get a job anywhere i please or i could get a job anytime i want to and so why not do it if you can like she said anytime she wants to like yo i go get one tomorrow bitch do it the fuck are we talking about Ah, oh, this is the shit that like is really sad about america too because there are people that can just live off of the government i see why people would want to come here and just like set up shop okay now you said a provider. Do you, um, what does provider mean to you? That means paying my rent. Um, that means teaching my children how to be a man. If I got I got boys, I got girls. You see? Me? This is what I mean about not living in reality. Okay. Now I want a man that will provide for me, be there for my kids, tell my girls what not to look for, what to look for. Watch out for big ass red flags. <laughs> Yo, she look like she, uh, just a big fucking red flag with blue hair. I don't get no more patriotic than that. And she got some like weird chest tattoo. I know she threatened men. It's just women with chest tattoos. They they threaten men. I don't want them to have to have so many uh, baby daddies. Uh, I don't want my kids in the streets or uh, doing drugs or selling drugs or nothing like that. I want a guy. So. You need a man for all of that? You should have thought about that before you had the first kid. Irresponsible fucking. I'm just pointing out reality. I'm not trying to be no Kevin Samuels. I'm not telling this woman she shouldn't. Well, actually, I am telling her she shouldn't date. And right now, she probably shouldn't be procreating. But it's her body. She can do what the fuck she want to do. She can have a million kids, and we can all pay for them. If that's how y'all want to look at it. What I'm going to say is, let's say you find this man that could be a role model, period. Like, in the church or the school district or organizations could be a potentially good role model but maybe not be a factor in dating i don't <laughs> yeah she, <laughs> she just had a brain glitch <laughs> Oh, man. No way. She's like, what fuck am I going to do with that? I don't know. How would I be with that type of person? <laughs> if he can't date, like, 
do I help him date? Like, <laughs> 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 nah, yo, I'm out. <laughs>